Salisbury, Mayor Jim Ireton, coming to you from the top of the Gateway Building, looking over our Wicomico River and our uh, marina here in Salisbury. I am with uh, one of the directors of the Chesapeake Bay Foundation, our friend Alan Gerard, and he is getting ready, uh, helping us set up and prepare for Third Friday, September 17th. Uh, that is next Friday coming up. Uh, our third Friday is Green Friday. Uh, Alan, talk to us about the health of the Chesapeake Bay and what we can do uh, to improve it. Well, first of all, I mean, thank you so much for hosting Green Friday. I mean, it's a fabulous event that's going on downtown, a lot of great activities. Uh, Wacomico Creek Watchers will be there, and you'll learn a lot about the health of the Wacomico River. You know, the Bay, for a long time, has been in trouble. You know, we finally have a plan now uh, called the Chesapeake Bay Total Maximum Daily Load, the Good. amount of pollution that the Bay with can, can withstand, and uh, that is being put forward. And it's going to require people to change their lifestyles, you know, do things that are more environmentally sensitive. If you come on Third Friday, what we've got here is 10 things you can do to save the Bay. You know, this is just a quick and dirty snapshot of actions folks can take at home to make a difference. You know, we continue to get questions about what can you do. Right. And Those things are available at cbf.org, am I right? Exactly. cbf.org. So, uh, Chesapeake Bay Foundation will be downtown, the Creek Watchers will be here, uh, the Wicomico River Project will be here, SU Environmental Clubs will be here celebrating downtown, and it's sort of retro echo, where if you want to come in your 60s, 70s, and 80s garb, naturally I'll be doing the 80s garb, uh, come down for uh, Green Friday, uh, Friday the 17th of September here in downtown Salisbury. Alan, thank you so much for everything that you do, uh, and we'll see you uh, down here on the 17th, third Friday, Green Friday here in downtown Salisbury.